Welcome, I'm Jacob Freiheit, and today we're going to be talking about quines, invented by Willard Van Orman Quine, primitively recursive functions by Richard Dedekind, and the diagonalization argument by G. Cantor. Quines are an important area of study because they are the backbones of viruses, and the diagonalization argument and primitively recursive functions may define what quines can and cannot do. Primitive recursive functions have three embedded properties. The zero function, which states that zero exists as a constant. The successor function, which states that there is always a number that will come directly after the number that we entered. And the projection function, which takes an array of inputs and returns the one that we requested in the original equation. Two other statements that are made about primitive recursive functions is that they can contain multiple other functions and they can also contain an if statement. Let's take a look at the diagonalization argument by G. Cantor. It states that there is an infinite number of irrational numbers, and he proved it like this. These are all irrational numbers. But let's take all the number, all the digits that are going diagonally down to the right from the top left-hand corner and change them. We now have three more irrational numbers that we can add to this list. If we were to repeat this process with the numbers that we have now, then we would be able to add more irrational numbers to the list, proving that there is an infinite number of irrational numbers. If we were to perform this on primitive recursive functions, it would look something like this. The y-axis represents all the different possible primitive recursive equations that could exist, and the x-axis represents all the different possible inputs there could be. Say we're going down the diagonal, and the answer to this equation is this. You would have to plug more than one input in order to get this answer, both this equation and the added one. Because there is only one input available, it can be seen that primitive recursive functions don't possess the capability to compute everything. We plan to research how quines can help us compute more solutions and make more effective and powerful systems. The long-term goal would be to understand quines enough that no system can be bypassed by viruses, securing the world against them. I'd like to thank Dedekind, Cantor, and Quine for their research in this area, and Dr. Philip Bradford, who helped me get to where I am today. Thank you for watching.